Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. One of Australia's most wanted men has spent his first night behind bars after more than a decade on the run. Graham Potter was arrested at a Far North Queensland address yesterday after skipping out on a court appearance in 2010. The 64-year-old will face court today and is expected to be extradited to Victoria. COVID isolation rules could be in for an overhaul. The Australian Health Protection Principal Committee is considering relaxing the rules, seeing the seven-day isolation requirement for household contacts scrapped. Overseas, England is removing nearly all its COVID restrictions from Thursday this week. It means infected people will no longer need to self-isolate. This virus has not gone away. But because of the efforts we've made as a country over the past two years, we can now deal with it in a very different way. That's UK PM Boris Johnson there. Back home, Sydney trains are back up and running today, but it's said to be another nightmare commute with limited services running. Trains will run on all lines at a minimum of one service every 30 minutes with users urged to find alternative transport. The Rail, Tram and Bus Union's Alex Classen says an arrangement has been cobbled together while negotiations continue with the state government. So we're not 100% sure on how well it's going to operate. But they are aiming to try and make sure that there's a regular service across most of the city. And we're going to try and do what we can all day to try and make sure that that works. The US claims the chances of a diplomatic solution to the crisis in Ukraine are fading. Russian troops remain at the border there. The Kremlin insists talks are continuing, though. And Scott Morrison will today pledge more than $800 million to expand Australia's footprint in Antarctica. The money will be spent strengthening our strategic and scientific capabilities through the purchase of drones, choppers and vehicles to get to inland areas, which have so far been unreachable. The Chinese have been showing increasing interest in claiming the area. In sport, Novak Djokovic has hit the courts for the first time since being deported from Australia. He is in first round action this morning at the Dubai Tennis Championships. Meantime, Aussie Chris O'Connell has gone down to former world number one Andy Murray. Alex Demonor and Alexi Popperin launch their campaigns tonight. In AFLW, the Demons have snapped the Lions' five-match winning streak and the Knights have drawn with the Bulldogs in their NRL trial. In entertainment news, Britney Spears has landed a major book deal. The pop star has signed a contract with a publishing giant for 15 million US dollars. No word yet on when the book will be released though. And Billie Eilish has again stopped one of her shows to make sure fans are safe. She was performing in Madison Square Garden when she took a break and asked fans to do the same. If you want to sit down, you are allowed. Go ahead. You're good. Sit down. Take a breath. And everybody down here, can you step back? Give everybody some room down here. There we go. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.